Now the last of the sailing schooners slipped down the river Tagus to open sea. <laughs> Santa Maria Manuela. Vitorino Ramallera is captain. Pedro Balloins, age 60, is on his 52nd campaign. And Yoyo da Silva, 19, is on his first. Santa Maria must come back full of fish to pay. Lines must be made, dories drawn for, found, prepared. The dory will be your tiny home 12 hours a day on the heaving sea. Cod fishing is big business for Portugal and still religious. A few days ahead, a luxury liner is swamped by the same storm. A thousand miles out from Portugal, the Santa Maria sails through. Her crew know this sea. Fathers weathered the same storms, sailed the same routes back through the years. Way back then, long, long ago, Portugal was a land of just one and a half million souls. They were the first to sail for Africa, explored headland by headland, till finally they rounded Cape Boyador, returning with cargoes of gold, slaves and ivory under the cross of Christ on their sails. Then, in search of the east, they sailed west, into the ocean of darkness, the sea of obscurity, where the sun was supposed to set with a hiss in the sea. And they sailed by Stella Maris, the star of the sea. Before Columbus, they found the new world, found codfish in swarms round a rocky land and named it for the king of Portugal. And then, the land of the codfish, Bacalaos. Then, the new land of Corte Real, Cape Race, Cape Spear, Labrador, Bonavista, Bacalu. The names remain, but the men are gone. Diego de Tieve, Alvarez Fugundes, the Corte Reals. And for the men of today, no more the unknown monsters, strange stars, whirlpools on the rim of the world. Only the business of fish. <laughs> In a dory, you row away, watched by the skipper, whose father's crew were the greatest fishers of all, once caught 42 tons in a day. In a dory, you fish 12 hours a day, four months of the year, hauling in rain and fog, hauling the heavy fish from the deep. And if a storm comes, there's a pair of oars and a scrap of sail. That's all. No warmth. No women. No summers at home since you were eight years old. Oh, this is it.
Midori, they say, a man is his own master and master of his own soul. The captain is master aboard. How many fish? Do the dories drift too far? What about weather? What about fog? How many fish? Never enough. For though they shrink when they're split and salted away below, the ship must be filled, and home drifts farther and farther away. Over the years, men have been drowned, shipwrecked, blown across the ocean and swamped by the cold seas, then dead in three minutes. Now two are missing in fog. This time, these two are safe, but men do die, and ships are lost too. Last year, the Coutinho sank. The Aviz was consumed by fire. The Fagundes was smashed off Labrador. Just five schooners left. dreamed of this moment, entering the new world. Now, they have lived through storm and death, and the moment is sad. security is there in a haven, a port? What happiness when a man you've known is dead? Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, in the perpetual day, son of random. May he soul and all the souls of the people who prayed it, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. White Fleet men are buried ashore in Newfoundland, Greenland, and Labrador. White Fleet men are buried at sea, down below on the grand banks of fish. They were heroes of a kind. May their sons remember them. <laughs> 